for latitude, the great belly laughter of a boss. Then once, six years into this routine, Cain looked up at the ceiling of Demetrius' room. The Vato Evil, the poem he copied out 15 years earlier, and the flush of youth was still on him like a flush of a girl. It was painted above in stylized font. Those years ago, when Cain had studied with Richard H. Dick Dunning. On a Mediterranean island with the Erasmus Mundus Preptus, though Dunny and Cain were Canadian. On that island, Cain and Dunny went to classes and ran and scams together. Once they'd adjudicated a local beauty contest for the island's capital. Another time, they disqualified a local wine called Lacrima Vitas, Tears of the Vine, from its place as the winner for its. acrid, chalky, and acidic hue. Dunny even wore a silk scarf. Sure sign you like anal fisting in some circles, he <laughs> said with an elaborate. But Cain, he was not as carefully nonchalant as his brother in arms. Had fallen in love. Before he left for the Christmas vacation to his pension on the North Sea, he copied out the sixth stanza of Rambo's poem into a simple card in French, and on the other side English, and left it signatureless in the he came back just in time for the New Year's celebration. Baby lovers. Rambo's drunken boat had given rise to his hope, and he'd never seen the poem again until some 11 years later in Demetrius' poem. A timeless, Abrahamic youth, this Armenian virgin from the Aramon, with the curled, ruddy tresses of a grassy sculpture, had been raised on the sunny, cold lowlands at the base of Mount Ararat, on the plains before the Turkish border, where the barbed wire men, with assault rifles and mustaches, shot you Russian dead if you near the DMZ. Hitler had been wrong. Everyone remembered the army. Her name was Yana, and she had the hooked scimitar nose of a long ago movie. He often thought in later years that it was distinctly sexual and heat seen. Her nostrils pricked like a cult's at the smell of the sex act. Two year piece of horse flesh about to be raced for the first time. That's what she was. Please know that youthful New Year's Eve on the island, it stood far out on St. Julian's rocky light, far past the oily clubs and the fast foods. The nightlife gone, just the night now. The stars above and the night sea masticating God's shoreline like an old man dumping a bone. Yana had moved in close, <coughs> smelled him, said that his perfume left her weak wound. It's cologne, he said then, immediately wishing he had A man wears cologne. He hadn't known that. You could give your words to a girl by the sea, only to find them years later on a ceiling in a place where the mirrors were always behind the next door you opened. 
mirrors that when you lay down, you looked up at yourself and saw something else 